Hi everyone, Jonathan Wooten here, uh, introducing to you some uh, photography and processing videos that I'm going to start doing. The very first one that I'm doing now is for Lightroom and MIDI controllers. So there's a number of MIDI controllers out now that are coming out specifically for uh, Lightroom, which is the Loop. Uh, it's rather expensive. And there are alternatives available. One being the Behringer X Touch Mini. Uh, that can be linked to Lightroom through a little API written by Rory Jaffe. And uh, there are then some profiles that have kindly been written by Brian Lovelace, or put together by Brian, uh, which make the job really, really easy. The first thing that we need to do is download the file so if you go to Google or your preferred search engine put MIDI 2LR I would recommend getting Rory's uh, github pages so we go there get the latest release which is 1610 at the time of the video download the zip file save that in your usual save location and once that's saved see so yeah, I've practice this a few times so there's a few downloads in there so I'll go to the downloads file once we've got the file you just right click it extract it and put it in the location that you uh, that you want so for myself I've put it in the root of my C drive under a directory called MIDI keeps it out of the way of Lightroom so any changes that go on to Lightroom are not affected by this and I know where the files are so that's the the plugin for Lightroom downloaded and ready for use. So if we then fire Lightroom up, so from within Lightroom we can add the extra functionality to allow us to use our MIDI controller through the plugin. We go to File and then Plugin Manager. This is where we can add plugins. So you can see there's a there's a few already in here that I've got. So if I add um, then you need to find the directory so it will be into MIDI there and then the plugin directory so that the directory itself is up there you say select the folder it will then plug in into Lightroom shows us that the version is 1.61 the plugins enabled and this little console that's briefly popped up will then be available to us now as standard it will appear like this and if you were to then adjust the buttons themselves so as you tweak the buttons you can see the numbers changing it, it will do uh, register them to the controller and then you can map these to various items that's really really good and very powerful if you want to sit down and get the controller working exactly as you want to save you a little bit of time within this folder there are some panels already so for example if we open the basic panel you can see here some of them are mapped with presets etc and it shows you down here which panel we've got loaded so now if I twiddle you can see that the first knob is exposure and you can see the changes going on in the background and we've got contrast so you can see again you can see the actually if i do that you can see more so you can see the changes going on and then the numbers are registered and the sliders are changing so that's your standard setup there are some stickers in there that brian spent some time mapping this out and he's created some stickers uh, you can print them out yourself on some sticky paper and uh, add them to your controller so it makes a lot more sense so that's the basics of it no i won't go through everything here but what i will do is just do do that so i can go through my images so now for example uh, i can just skip through them with the controller 
and I can so I can do a number of things really quickly you can go through your images so you can sort of flip through them it's a really easy and quick way of going through your pictures and uh, one of the other really great features that, that comes with this let me just go back one make an adjustment here for example my kind of an extreme I can copy this come on and paste my adjustments in so I can go through the adjustments that I'm doing into them paste it in and then you can obviously make the final additional tweaks so see that I, well you can't see but I'm not touching the mouse or keyboard and I'm just going through the images and I think really quick adjustment changes to an image I am using the mouse now you can extend the functionality through profiles so again I um, I mentioned this when I loaded in the basic panel, there were some of the panels available to us. Um, they can be programmed in at these profile buttons. Now, because we've just set this up, it does make perfect sense actually to close Lightroom and reopen it and you get this problem, which is a known issue. So, uh, I've closed Lightroom, I'm going to open Lightroom again now. And it should open up and give me a proper profile. Right, so I've reopened Lightroom, as you can see. Um, and now I've got my controller on layer B. And on the top row of buttons, the four on the right hand side are assigned to the profiles. And you can see that it's changing the profile name there so how's that set up it's fairly straightforward uh, if we go into Lightroom to the file menu plugins if you've got a number of plugins enabled there may be more options in here but it's MIDI to LR and then options and the one that we're interested in I've not really changed anything else is the profiles page now I've put in the default developer is going to be basic panel I've also got the notify when profile changes so hence the uh, note that changes at the bottom of the panel and then the profile buttons themselves are assigned here so button profile button one is the basic two is you three is luminance and four is saturation and all you do in there because we've got all the directory structure set up elsewhere is start typing it in and it picks up them as you go so you can set them in whichever order makes sense for you once they're set if we okay in there uh, as I say you may need to actually come completely out of Lightroom and go back in at this point uh, and a number of times the plugin crashes but it's not the end of the world considering the speed improvements that you can get through editing your pictures with it so that's the really quick guide to how to set that set this up uh, I think it's one of those things that you you need to have a play with but Brian's setup uh, the setup XML files that he's provided are a really good start and I think the next video is going to go through much more on the uh, processing side, but it gives you a good flavour for how things go and hope you come back for the next one. Thank you very much for watching.